did what? God, Jonah was totally uncalled for. See, Benny, I am trying to be careful here, okay? I don't want what happened the last time to repeat itself. But we're not in a hundred thousand naira. You know, Freddy is more than that kind of money. And you know he would have definitely paid you back. Christ! Can't you see he meant well for you? You think so? I know so. I am so scared. Maybe I overreacted. Yes. I don't know what to do. I'm just scared. Look, we just have to take things easy. I invited you back to the same place to apologize um, for my irrational behavior yesterday. See, um, I've had some bad experiences. That is why I reacted that way. I'm very sorry. I quite well understand. Your apologies, take it. Thank you. Oh, don't you want to order something? Yeah, it's place and order. Before that, I'll, I have a little request to make. What is it? You're married. Really? That's why they call me Freddy. <laughs> Let's drink to this, you know. I can actually order anything, not even a horse. Go on. <laughs> Thank you. Whatever makes you happy, makes me happy. I approve of the engagement. But, you must be careful. I understand, Daddy. Thank you very much. Now, this calls for a toast. You know, <clears throat> um, Freddie's father, Mr. Johnson, known him for years. His company had dealings with our company in the 70s. I didn't know that um, Freddy took over the running of the company after his father died last year. Yes, he did, and he works very hard too. Mm, like father, like son. It's good, that's good. And I think Moet Chandon Champagne would be the right one, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I am so happy. I can't stand it. I can't bear it any longer. Having the notion that John is having another boyfriend. Not even that. The worst part of it is that she's even engaged to him. No, I, I can't just imagine it. I, I can't stand and be seeing all that. I have to quit my job. Mike. I don't understand you anymore. You know, you are just daydreaming. Let me tell you something. A girl of that standard of your madam will never, never love you. Get that into your empty mind and occupy it. Fine, but what is wrong in, in loving someone? 
There is nothing wrong in loving someone. That is, if that someone loves you back. I brought you a girl, very nice and pretty girl like Ama. But you rejected her. It's just you want. Hey, please, please, just keep Ama out of this. I don't love her. And I will never love her. It's John that I love. It's either John or nobody. Period. Keep the dreaming, okay? Keep the dreaming. Dream away, let's go. Freddy, I am very glad to know that you and John are getting married. Uh, I knew your father well. He was a struggling, hard working man. So I have nothing against your relationship with my daughter. Thank you, sir. Just like to say one thing though. Joan is my only child. And I don't joke with her. I know, sir. Good. After you are married, you will become my son. And you will be as dear to me as she is. I hope so, sir. I want to thank you for accepting me. And I pledge not to disappoint you, sir. To the union. A very happy, productive, lifelong union. Cheers. Congratulations again. Ah. Well, something very good can happen. I believe you will. What is the problem? Why are you acting this way now? For four days you've been behaving like this and when I ask you, you just keep quiet. Come on, what is the problem? Share it to me, okay? Honey, it says that the problem is so for women. I don't want it to upset you. Upset me? Why are you talking like this? We're going to get married in less than a week and we truly love each other. Your problem should be my problem. So share it. Well, uh, we might, I'm afraid, we might have to postpone this wedding. What? Why? All my money is tied up in a business I did. And, and I, I, I don't really understand what is happening. Oh my God. Please. You see? You see what I'm saying? I don't want to upset you. No. No! No! But the wedding cannot be postponed. It cannot be postponed. My daughter will be totally disappointed. There's no way. And I have invited all my friends. Among them, governors, commissioners, and members of the diplomatic corps, members of the armed forces, and so on and so forth. No, no, no. There is no way that this wedding is going to be postponed. Now think, young man. Think! Sir, honestly, I don't know what else to do. I have tried to raise money here among my friends to no avail. <laughs> Look, you know that Joan is my only child. And I love her very much. Everything I have will be hers. If she hears that this wedding is postponed, it will break her heart. No! No! Let me, let me have a deal with you. Look, if I give you 
money to do your business? To arrange the wedding? Would that be all right? for the wedding by this way. Why are you panicking over the phone? My wedding is supposed to be on Sunday. I had not seen Freddy. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to, you know, clear his goods or something. And that is why he has not called? That's true. But you know men now, since he knows you've practically taken care of everything about the wedding, he might just decide to just take a break or something. No, that's not. He should have called, okay? I am really scared. I'm very, very scared. Look, there's nothing to be scared about, okay? Have you tried calling him? Don't even respond. Nothing is going through, okay? Anyway, um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Just try and see the woman handling the clothes for the bridal train, okay? Okay. Alright. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, take it easy, okay? I'm sorry to hear you. I'm sorry, yeah. Thank you. I'm actually out of the country right now, and I don't intend coming back. What are you talking about? I mean the wedding is off. What? I'm not interested in you. Your stinginess makes me feel like vomiting. God. Uh, anyway, thank your father for me for the money. I believe it was what he cheated my late father out of while they were doing business together. Uh, with fervent prayers, you, you might find yourself another man. Well, uh, 
she has been motionless. Uh, but the, the, the doctor says that uh, she'll be all right. Oh, my dear. Oh, this is terrible. My daughter has been through so much. Uh, it's unfortunate, sir. Don't cry, don't cry. Everything will be all right. Everything. Okay, please. My son, thank you for bringing her here so swiftly. <laughs> don't mention that. For Esther, the guy hasn't even showed up for work. <laughs> so you mean if he had showed up, you would have taken him back and probably allowed him to still drive you? <laughs> of course. I mean, the guy was just merely expressing himself. It's a free word, girl. Come on. Oh. That was your driver, girl. I mean, this just happened after the after the Freddy's incident. Oh, please, please, please. I don't I'm... want you to mention Fred here, okay? But you really I don't to... want his name mentioned around me, alright? I'm gonna call Fred. No, please, please don't even mention it around but me. But this is another, uh, just another incident. How would you know who is real or not? Yeah, but I just feel it's funny, you know? The guy ran away. <laughs> oh my god, like, after he said it, he ran away. It was really, really funny and it's kind of cute, you know? Kind of cute. Yeah. You did not rethink. Right? This is a driver! A, a, a driver for crying out loud, girl! Yes, I am. I'm not... Of course, come on. I wouldn't do that. Why did you do it? Why? Look at you now. No job. No money. Nothing! I don't mind. At least I'm believed now. I've told her my mind. So what good has that done to us now? Tell me. At least she now knows that I'm in love with her. Look at you. Listen to yourself. She now knows I'm in love with her. Mike, what is happening to you? What is wrong?
Mike? Mike, wait! Wait! I see you drove yourself to work today. Yeah. Look, my dear, if this driver is not coming back, I want you to get another driver. Oh, because I don't want you driving on these terrible, dangerous roads. That is all right, okay? Mike is coming back. I told him to take some days off. These are becoming weeks. That everything will be all right. Everything will be fine. Okay? What are you drinking? Can I sip your drink? Yes, please. I'm happy to. Um, Chief, um, Mr. Douglas went to the office. Yes. He brought everything. So that means, I don't know, I won't be able to travel again then. I can't sleep my trip. No, 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 no don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't, don't, don't be so hasty. I have to make sure everything don't, is okay. Yes, you will. You will have enough time. Don't worry. the real you. I just use this to check my aching heart. Just to keep my aching heart in check. It's beautiful. Sorry, I I stole it from you. Mike, I really want you to tell me the truth. What exactly do you want from me? True love, ma'am. Call me Joan, okay? Okay. Joan. Do you really think you know me, Mike? Well, if I look beyond riches and powers at your disposal, I also see a very intelligent woman with a good heart, though strict, but a wonderful woman that that will make a good wife to any man who is sincere and ready to love you sincerely and daily also. That is quite impressive. Hmm. But are you sure you're not after my money? Well, money is not everything. Remember, you sent me to go get a large sum of money, several. I wasn't moved by it then, and I cannot be moved by it now. I'm doing 
is that what I feel is right from the inside. You've really changed, Mike. Stop saying you're sorry. It's alright. Hey! I think you don't dump, madam, after reaching the accountant, making three. Hey! That woman, eh? I know. Oh, oh. oh. So yes. don't buy again. Uh, you don't know before. Not only that, good for her herself. Look, they are going to be twenty. Bam. Even after twenty, they will keep dumping. Oh, oh, God bless you. Oh, rich lady. Which can't talk to this one now. Be. Before yeah. Uncle, you know, yes, now. Now. Oh. pick up my friend. Pick up. Hey. hey. I'm not talking. You know, that's how I like to. Oh. You know the one oh, I heard. Do you know the one I heard hey. yesterday? Mm -hmm. Somebody said that Mike, her driver. Is one in charge. Oh, oh. Oh. Mike. What is she going to do with Mike now? Isn't that a girl? Now Mike they talk. Oh man need love. They talk of Mike. 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 What? Yeah. Is my, why you people Who is talking? Who is talking? Who is Who is Who I came to tell you that I am not happy with John. Why? Sir, I I don't know if you are aware, but John is John is dating her her driver. Dating her driver? I, I, I was not aware. So I guessed my advice. She fell for that, that gold digger who is only capitalizing on her vulnerability. Oh, no. My daughter will not stoop so low. Whatever happens, she is still the daughter of King Brown. So I know you won't sanction it. So please, you really have to talk with her. Since she's refused to listen to me, I'm sure she would listen to you. I must definitely will. And thank you, Madam Dicta, for letting me know. It's okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, sir, must be on the Thank you. Sir, please help me talk to her, please. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my regards to her when she comes back. You mean with your driver? Yes, but 
I no longer see him like that. So how do you see him? Joan, how can you stoop so low? Daddy, why are you talking like this? I mean, Mike is a very nice person. And I think I'm in love with him. Daddy, he's better than all the other guys put together. Joan, how do you know? I don't know. I just feel different when I'm with him. You know? Makes me laugh, makes me... Joan, please. Why do you act desperately? De desperately? Daddy, how can you talk like that? How can you say this? But I'm desperate. John, look, I really don't know, but I think this whole thing is not just right. How would you feel when you're walking past your own office and then people make a jest of you and then laugh behind your back? No, I don't bloody care. That's a bloody business. It's not a, I, I don't care. John, what has come over you? Nothing has gotten over me, Benny. See, you don't know Mike. You still see him as my driver. Okay, that boy had five straight offers in his school search. It's just because his parents didn't have money to send him to the university. John. Hi, honey. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank Hi. you. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm waiting for you downstairs. Okay, no problem. I'm coming down. All right. Okay. Um, hi. That's my baby, huh? Who was that? That's Mike. <laughs> Wait. Are you kidding me or something? Oh, well, that's Mike. <sighs> Good. sure that this time you've got it right. <laughs> you want to marry a man who is your driver. Uh, you will say, was your driver. <laughs> How can we be sure that he will be able to give you the understanding, support and cooperation that you require? Dad, I understand how you feel. I know I've been through several relationships that didn't work out. But Mike is different. We love each other. And I'm convinced that we can make it work. I love him, Dad. Yes, I'm sure. You are very vulnerable because you only know one way and that is open. You are bare, your heart is open, but they always take undue advantage of it. I know. How can we be sure that this one is not going to be the same? A gold digger of it. But Daddy told me never to give up. Tells me to follow my heart. <sighs> you have my blessing.
This one must not fail. I promise. Okay. Let me go tell him the good news. <laughs> I've been trying to make calls since the month. Do the work now. I'm not going to do the work. I don't see the work. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. What about mommy? Yeah, I put a lot of the money in the car. Okay, let me get it. No, please wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, let me get it. Don't go, okay? No, no, baby, don't go, don't go, don't go. went through at her birth. I can't lose the two of them. I can't lose them both. No. No. Don't let her die. God, don't let her die. Hmm. The result of the comprehensive analysis is out. Your daughter's condition is critical. I'm afraid her spinal cord was affected by the accident. She might not walk again. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Doctor, what are you saying? I cannot walk again. But I can walk. You can walk. I can walk again from my legs. But I can move my... It's okay, it's okay. I can move my... It's okay. Yes, you can. It's not the end of the world. You can still live a fruitful and a productive life. She, she, she must walk. My dear, 
I will do everything medically possible to solve this problem at whatever cost. They have finally killed me. Sure. Don't worry. Daddy. I will. This is the only thing I can do. Okay, it's okay. She must walk. She will walk. She will walk. I'm sorry. She will walk. She will walk. She will walk. My girl will walk. My girl must walk. She must walk. I can walk. The doctors are not going. I can walk. You can walk. She must walk. Don't worry. She will walk. She will walk. Take care of yourself. Hey. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. But it's really, really tragic. Oh, God. Joanne crippled to be confined in a wheelchair. How oh God. Oh wow. But Mike, we still have to thank God that you didn't marry her before this thing happened. You see? I still consider you very lucky. Me? Lucky? Yes. What are you talking about? That my wife had an accident that she's going to be confined in a wager. You're saying that I'm lucky? No. Oh, don't get me wrong. See, what I'm trying to say is uh, at least you didn't marry her officially before this thing happened. Just listen to me. Officially or not officially. Crippled or not crippled. Mike, you are going ahead to do what? Look, I put it to you that that decision is wrong. Totally wrong. And you're not going to do such thing. Don't even try to sway me because my mind is made up. God, I am going ahead to marry her. I have made up my mind on that. Period. Let the world go to hell. You know me very well. I don't like self pity. Yeah. I don't want your secret. Now that I'm in this condition, I want you to make the best decision you can. Yes. Which is to leave me alone. No, come on, don't say that again. I so I don't say that. Listen, being with you is the happiest thing that happens to me. Like you're a young man. You're gonna find someone that'll make you happy. Listen, you're my happiness. You're my everything. Listen, I, I love you. I love your person. Regardless of this accident. This accident hasn't changed anything. Oh my please, open your eyes. I'm a miserable cripple. I have nothing to offer you. So that you have everything to offer me. Mike. I can't be that wife that you want. I can't. I can't give you. Sudan, you have given me everything. No, I okay. hate you seeing me this way. No. I don't want you to see me this way. Please don't see that again. Listen, listen, listen. I love you. 
okay? Thank my you. love for you is genuine. Thank you, sir. Listen, my dear. Listen. Love doesn't count special yeah, features. My, my, my. There is no opting out. I can't can go away. away. The best thing you can do is walk away. No. I will understand. I can do that. Now, listen, come on. Don't this for me. I can love you. Come on. Don't, don't make me sad. I'm happy being with you, okay? Please, please, honey, please, 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 okay? Are you sure? I cross my heart till death do us part. I will love you forever, okay? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell my dad to do a simple wedding. I can't stand the crowd. Yeah, anything you want is perfect for me. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, oh, oh yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, I know. Best. Mm. Oh. Yeah, mm. oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I, I just have to leave you long, but alone. Oh, thank you. know, you. it's pretty late. I really have to get home right now. I know. Uh, Thanks, right. Benny, for coming. Okay. Well, Benny, we appreciate you coming. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I really gotta go now. Okay. John, I'll call you later. Alright, take care. Have fun. Bye. My regards to the Alright. Good night. I love you. And listen, nothing is gonna take away my love from you. I love you again. Come on. Eat it, eat it, eat it. No, no, no. I bought it for you. Okay. I request it for things. God. So. I never knew you was going to be such a man. If not, I would have made the first move. But it's not too late. After all, John is it's just a creeper. Hello? Yes, is this Michael? Okay, Michael. Oh, this is Benny. Yeah. So, how are you doing? Okay, um... Michael, I would like you to come over to my house immediately. Alright, I... Uh, there's something I'd like you to give to Joan for me. Please. Okay, I am waiting for you. Bye. Mm. I'm coming. Hello. Hi. What kept you so long? I've been waiting for you. Uh, I'm so sorry, um, I was in a hurry. So, um, where are the items? So you're coming to my house and you wouldn't even want to sit down? No. You see, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. Okay, I have to rush Cut back home. 
Joan is all alone at Forget home. about okay? it. Come and sit down. I have something for us to drink. Oh, please. Hey. Okay. Okay, I won't waste time. I won't take up. Whatever. <laughs> Here. Yeah. So tell me, how is your day? Well, she's fine. She's all right. I mean, your day, your day. Your day. It's fine, but hectic. Hmm. Don't worry, you could, you could ease out some tension, you know. <laughs> oh, what can no play makes my marital point. How what do you think? Mm, well. <sighs> hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> So, you haven't told me about your day. How was it? I said, I'm fine. I said, oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. So, tell me, what about the items? Oh, God. See, I, I forgot. You know, I, I left them at the office, okay? So, I had already called you when I realized that I had forgotten them. But it's okay. Don't worry, I'll still get them over to her. Okay? Yeah, I, I think I, I, I should be leaving then. Thanks for the drink. You just came in. Yeah, I, like I told you, I have to see Joan at home. She's oh. all alone, lonely. You've always been with Joan. Why don't you stay with me a little bit more? Hey, please. please. Okay, I have to do my care. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Trying to place my own mirror. Treating me like some kind of trash. <laughs> I just hope you can play this game. <laughs> So how are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm very fine. And your your husband? Oh, he's fine. He went to school. He has registered for a course at the university. Really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Penny, Mike is a good man. Every day I thank God for giving me such a good man. Mike is still a man, and you've got to watch him. No, for Mike, I don't have any problems, because I am convinced that he wouldn't do anything to hurt me. You, you sound so confident of yourself. Anyway, it's just that uh, I have been seeing him in some, you know, highly suspicious places lately. Oh, what kind of places? You know, now like um, hotels, bars, the usual hideout. Are you sure? I wouldn't be saying such a thing if I wasn't sure. Anyway, I know I'm not supposed to be telling you all this, but it's just that like, you're my friend. And I don't want you to get hurt again. Thanks for coming, huh? Yeah. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. Sorry, I was. 
Jesus indeed. I'm fine, thank you. Ma, please set the table. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? Thank you. Fine, I'm sure you must be very hungry. How was school today? Well, it was tough because if I pretend and say it's fine, I'm lying. The the, the toughest is the basic engineering. That's the toughest. Well, you get through it. I press so. You say you're not hungry. I, are you sure you didn't plan somewhere to eat? Or uh, you didn't I mean, go anywhere? Hey, no, I didn't go anywhere. I'm just not hungry. Why? Why do you ask? No, I'm just, I'm just asking. So. No. Don't you want to go change or? Change? I can't leave you all alone in here. Come on, sleep with me. <laughs> can't you sleep? Since morning I've left you. Mm -hmm. It's the same to you, okay? I love you to the eternity. Thank you for being there. Um, Please, um, someone just called me and, and gave me a business appointment here. I don't know if he's here. Hello, Michael. Oh, hi. Oh, Benny. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, I just came to relax. Oh, that's interesting. Let's say body no be firewood. I be no be so. Well. <laughs> Um, sit down, sorry. <laughs> well, I, actually, I, I don't have the time. Someone just called me uh, and said that uh, he's a Jointel business partner, that I should come to this hotel and meet him up. And here I am. Uh, I don't seem to find him. I, I think I, I should be going home because John will be um, waiting for me. Sit down. Sit down. Why? I made the call. <laughs> come on, come on. That was the male's voice. Well, I got that barman over there to make the call. What? The barman? Why? Why would you do that? Sweetie, because I want to see you. Why are you snobbing me like this? Come on, I, I don't understand. Don't you pretend you don't understand me, Mike. Look, I want you. And I, I, I never knew you were. You were so cute. And I don't know why you're doing this. Come on, Benny. You, you know, John is your best friend. I'm married to her. She's my wife. Oh, please, God, I don't. That wife bullshit. Look, forget about her. She's a cripple. Look at me. I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with me, baby. Come on. Look, I could give you the kind of love she would never be able to give to you. Here, I got my two Hey, I don't need it. Listen, I love Joan so much. I love her so dearly. Listen, you can take your love and go to hell. I don't need it, okay? I think I should be leaving right now. Michael, okay. why are you doing this? Come to on, me? I should leave now. Come on, don't leave. Please. Let's just pretend that something like this never happened, okay? Please. <laughs> Smart boy. Oh. Hello, John. Yeah. Look, I just I just saw your husband walking out of a hotel right now with a lady. Yes, I'm very sure. I don't know, maybe you should just um check his clothes or something, you know? Okay. Take it easy, alright? Okay, bye. <laughs> This is just the beginning. Just when you think you know someone, 
That's when there's has to change your cause. And just when you begin to believe. Hello, my name is How are you? Where are you coming from? Coming from school, of course. What's the matter? Someone saw you at the ten this evening. Oh, that. <laughs> you won't believe it if I, if, if I tell you this. Someone called me saying that uh, he's a colleague of yours, that I should come there and meet him at the hotel. When I got there, I didn't see him. I started coming back that all. Is there any problem? What is that? What? What is this stain on your shirt? Oh my god. A lipstick, huh? Eh? How how did it get how did it get there? How am I supposed to know? Honestly, I, I don't know how you got there. Mike, I told you. I told you that I do not bloody need another heartbreak! I don't want it! Listen, sweetheart, you have to go. I swear to God. I wasn't with any woman today. Man, now wear lipsticks, isn't it? No. Huh? You have to believe me, okay? Listen, me, I, I told you, I listen. If you don't want me anymore, just let me know. Just tell me, I don't want you anymore. I don't because I can't stand you cheating on me. I don't want you to cheat on me. You don't want me to say it. So say it, don't bloody forget what me. So no, 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 Forget me in a hurry. Mm. This is going to be um, my little present to your wife. <laughs> that crippled ugly looking thing you call my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she'll like it. Mm -mm. Hello, is this Michael? Ah, Mike, listen. I know about the lipstick, okay? And you really have to come around because there are lots of things you need to know. No, I just want to let you in on the latest. You're asking me who? Oh, what a question. Look, your wife, of course. Yeah. That is not even the problem. See, you need to know what, what your wife and the father are planning against you. Come on, baby. You know I wouldn't want anyone to push you away. You know? Oh, please, come, I'm waiting for you. Okay, bye. Ah. But every good information has a price. Yes, sir. Name your price. Simple. Just. Just. Sleep with me. I 
honestly, you're a very beautiful woman. Every man will want to sleep with you. It's true. Just to give me some time. Time? Come on, baby. You know that is what I don't have. Come, listen. Why do you keep spawning me? Listen, we are going to do it. Okay? Let's do it now. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to call you up, okay? I'm going to call you up then. We prepare our minds to it. Right now, I am not prepared for it, okay? Okay. I'll see you later. Uh, won't you give me a hug? A better steal or a kiss? Hmm? <laughs> Hello, John. Good. Look, then I, I don't know. What I'm going to tell you this, but I just saw your husband right now leaving a hotel with a lady. Yes, and you know because I know the lady so well. I, I had to like beg her to to drop a condom in his pocket, at least so you know we could we could really catch him this time around, you know. Yes. So you just um you just check check him, you know, when he comes out, just search him. Then let's know what his excuse is going to be this time around. Hey, come on, girlfriend, you don't have to cry. Just find out things for yourself, okay? Eat. Okay, take it easy, all right? Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay, dear, bye. <laughs> hmm, he's the perfect man for me. Let's see how far you guys could go. <laughs> Told you that I'll show you. Hello, uh, please, uh, where can I get a uh, tolerance for women? Sorry, let me just rush until you can and get my wallet and I forget it there. 
sorry for the parents. What is it? Why are you cheating on me, Mike? Cheating on you? God, I don't understand. Oh, please don't do that. Don't even pretend. You're seeing another woman. It's a lie. How can I see another woman? But I'm going to search you in order to be convinced. Search me? Yes. For what? Because Benny instructed one of the girls who just left you to put the condom inside your pocket. Benny told you that? Yes. She's a friend of mine. My good friend has been telling me all the things you've been doing behind my back. Okay. Search. Search. Go ahead. Search me. Go ahead. See, listen. I don't need your pity, okay? I don't need your sympathy. If you don't like me the way I am, just let me go, okay? Just Oh my god, I just don't know what to say. But thank God you didn't see any comment. But it doesn't change anything. Look, I don't need your pity. I don't need your sympathy, okay? I don't need it. If you're tired of me, just let me know. Okay? John, I just want to say one thing to you. Very soon, you will find out whether I'm a fraud or not. That's it. It's What's going on here? Nothing. Oh, nothing, sir. Very welcome. Welcome. Yes. You've been crying. Uh, no. Oh, no. How, how was your trip? Benny's house. 
Dating other women. Come on. Mm? You know, I decided to put you on a little pressure to get you where we are now. Oh yeah, but that was like, expensive. Really? Doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> Is it because I cannot walk?
Mike. 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 Oh, Jesus. Chun. What are you doing here? Chun. So you can walk. Yes. Oh As I watch this treacherous beat fall all over you. So this is it, Benny. This is it. This is what you've been doing behind my back. Isn't it? Are you calling yourself my friend? Sweetheart, I just wanted you to know that she's been the one behind it. She's been wanting me to sleep with her. Thank God you have confirmed it yourself. You have found out that I'm not cheating on you. Thank God that you can walk now. Oh God. I'm sorry, Barry, for not believing you. Let us go. Let's leave this filthy house for this filthy bitch. Yes. May you rot in hell. She will definitely rot in hell. Yeah. <laughs> 